G7 group. That's the world's most economically advanced countries. And the UK currently chairs the G7 group. Our chancellor, who does our economy, called Chancellor of the Exchequer, his name's Rishi Sunak. He put out this video saying that um, what they want to do is bring in this uh, thing called the central banking digital currency. They want to replace fiat paper money with digital money as a competitor to Bitcoin and crypto money, right? But instead of being a uh, decentralized currency, it will be controlled by a government. It's digital currency, but controlled centrally through the banks, Bank of England. So instead of having a bank account with whatever, HSBC or Bank of America, you'll have a bank account directly with, in the American context, with the Fed. In the UK, directly with the Bank of England. You have a personal bank account, and you're given digital money in that bank account. These are called central banking digital currencies. The Chancellor of the Exchequer in the UK has already announced their intention to do this as the G7 group. And these, uh, if you look up... Um, this sounds terrifying. If you look up uh, the Telegraph newspaper. Uh, Central bank digital courtesy, uh, currency, is that the, the one down below? Digital currency should be programmable. See that one there? Yeah? Now, what yeah. they're doing is they're saying, you know, everyone knows that with inflation at over 5%, it's now 5.4%, right? Uh, our fiat money, the paper money, is increasingly becoming worthless, and we're headed towards a big disaster. They, the Fed wants to raise interest rates. But we're in so much debt that if you raise interest rates... People are going to suffer because everyone that, you know, we're living on debt as Western economies. So they realize that this kind of the lifespan of paper money is fast coming to an end because of the 2008 economic crash in particular. So they're bringing in these central banking digital currencies. Why is that word programmable in there? So what they said in that article and the, and the chance to put a video out saying this as well, they've said that this money that you will earn from work, instead of having paper money, you have this digital money. It's programmable so that you can't buy certain foods, or if you do something that your employer doesn't like, it's all in that article. You won't be able to spend your money. In other words, it's not money. They're vouchers. They're like food vouchers. And they can be programmed so that, like the Chinese social credit system, that if you try and use them on a certain thing, it won't work. You say you want to buy a burger and they want you to buy bugs, which is one of the examples used. If you start to try and buy unhealthy meat, it just won't work. You tap, you tap your card. You can't buy the thing because you've met your quota that month of burgers. You have to buy something like a, a vegan meal. So yeah. it won't just be money in the sense of the way we have dollars or pounds today. Yeah. It'll be something that's controlled in terms of your ability to distribute it. Which is why I'm calling it a voucher. It's a coupon. But even a coupon, if you have a coupon to buy bread, yeah. you can still buy the bread. Yeah. Like, there's but no... you can't buy, see, that coupon to buy bread, what you can't do is buy a burger with that coupon. It's for bread. Right, yeah? right. Do you feel like you're sounding the alarm yes. for people that don't understand what is going on? So, here, I'll put it up for you here, yeah? So there's the video. The group of the world's seven most advanced economies, the G7, is launching a set of public policy principles for retail central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. Central bank digital currencies could be a digital version of money, a bit like a digital banknote that could be used alongside... Right, so that's the guy who runs our economy in the UK. His name's the Chancellor of the Exchequer. And here is the article. Bank of England tells ministers to intervene on digital currency programming, yeah? And here's a quote from the article. Digital cash could be programmed to ensure it is only spent on essentials or goods which an employer or government deems to be sensible. Holy... I'm going to take it one step further for you, Joe, right? So the Checkpoint Charlie exists everywhere. They bring in digital banking, central banking, digital currencies. You've got a scenario now that you're checking in and out everywhere you go using vouchers that are programmed and you can only spend where you're told you can spend them. There's another word for that, man. That's called the Chinese social credit system. So what they are telling us, and when I say they, who's they? People in power. That's the head of our economy, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, second most powerful person other than the Prime Minister and maybe the Foreign Secretary in the UK, right? He's telling us, I just played it there for you, he's telling us that's what he, as the UK, the head of the G7, want to bring in for the G7. And if I'm speaking to you the way I'm speaking now, and my employer or government, you heard that in the quote directly, yeah, deems me as saying or doing something inappropriate, suddenly I can't actually pay to come here and speak to you anymore. My, my digital currency won't even pay for the ticket because it will be known that I'm coming to speak to you. Sorry. Your, your vouchers don't allow you to purchase that ticket to go and speak to Joe. And this is where we get into the kind of censorship that we see in social media that is not... You can't have that kind of censorship with the First Amendment in, in, in normal discourse. Mm. But you can have that kind of censorship if you've developed a digital platform 
that distributes information, but it's a private company. Yeah. So think about what money is, where you can spend it on, spending on whatever you want, versus this digital currency, which is essentially controlled.